What's up everybody, it's the Tabletop Tyrant, and today I want to talk about the Orc Board Chariot, so let's do this. Alright, so as I normally do, here's the profile card I've made. Bada bing, bada boom, and bada bam, I'm back. Now, uh, in honor of Orc Orktober, 21 days, I uh, have been doing a bunch of Orc content if you want to check it out in the top right hand corner. Now, uh, my focus for this video is to gear this towards anyone that's kind of new, getting into this army. Maybe they bought that starter set and they kind of are just curious about how they uh, use the Orc Board Chariot. Uh, this video is not going to be helpful to anyone that I think is really good at Orcs or has a really great understanding of them. And I'm not going to dive into the Orcs and Goblins Arcane Journal only because I don't want to overload anybody. If you're interested on the Arcane Journal for the Orcs and Goblins, top right hand corner if you want to check that out. Now, let's dive into this. Our uh, Orc Board Chariots are about 90 points. You get Movement 7, your Strength 5, Strength 3 on the Boar and the Warrior, Toughness 5, you have 4 wounds, and you have 1 attack apiece, 1 per each Boar, and 1 per each Crew. So you have two different weapon options. You have a cavalry spear and a hand weapon. Now the cavalry spear only benefits you on the turn in which you charge. When you charge, you'll be plus one strength, putting you at strength four on the warrior, not the pig, because the pig doesn't have a spear, and you'll be AP minus one. Now what does AP minus one mean? AP minus one is kind of like how much you're gonna subtract from your opponent's armor save, right? Armor piercing minus that armor save. So if it's a five up armor save, then I'll go to a six. You only use these on a turn which you charge, which kind of reduces the amount of damage I think you're going to be outputting unless you charge. Because this unit and most of the orc units benefit from really being aggressive. They have the chop is special rule. Now the chop is special rule is on the turn in which you charge, you get to add another minus one to that AP. So no, it wouldn't be zero. It would actually be AP two, which means that five up armor save will be completely canceled. And you would reroll your wound rolls of natural one. So any ones to wound, only ones, that means if someone casts a spell and they say your twos count as ones, that's not a natural wound roll of a one. Um, so you would get to reroll your ones to wound and then you'd be able to get that AP minus two. And again, you'd be charging and that's a really big benefit because you have what's called first charge. Now first charge means in the very first time in which you charge, makes sense, you hit a unit and they count as being disrupted. Now disrupt is really interesting because they're not gonna be able to claim rank bonuses. Most people that are running infantry, which isn't super duper common, uh, are running their infantry in about six, seven wide and about three or four deep. Now, the nice thing about this is they're not gonna get those rank bonuses against you in the combat phase and you will still get that plus one point for close order. So it's definitely a really nice thing to have in your hand. Make sure to always keep them outside of charge range, but just enough to where you'll be able to hit that charge. They have Goblin Panic, ignore Goblin Panic, which means when goblins freak out, they run, they flee past you, they don't give a crap. They're not scared, they're weak and puny, and they're not gonna sit there and be offended by it. Now they have Impact Hits D6 plus one. This is where you're gonna, I think, get most of your output damage without any upgrades. Now. D6 plus one impact hits are gonna be coming in at strength five because that's the strength of the chariot. Most things, most infantry that you're gonna to wanna to aim this for are gonna be toughness force. So you'll be rolling threes to wound, which is really decent. So a really important thing to take towards impact hits is it happens at initiative step 10 in the combat phase. So it's the very first thing you resolve are those impact hits. Throwing these against a unit of infantry is great because they have to pull from the front, which means if you wipe out their front rank, they're not going to be getting those attacks back on you, which is really good. It's going to be that initial BAM. Then count that with Disrupted and count it with the attacks you'll get off the Orcs and the Boar, especially because you charged. You're going to be kind of creaming them in close combat. Now, one thing I want to do a caveat on here is I wouldn't run these guys directly into an enemy unit. No, because it's not going to be very helpful. What I would do is kind of pair these up with some Orc Boar Boys, which you'll have to add if you just have the starter set maybe pair them up with goblins have those goblins hit the charge and then have this supported by hitting a flank count it as disrupted do a bunch of attacks to the enemy and beat them in combat that's one of the better ways to do it i would pair it up with the goblins because the goblins are significantly weaker and if they break before you get there they're not affected by it at all so that would be just a little piece of advice from me to you um you have tusker charge so Again, on the turn in which you charge, your boars are plus one strength and minus one AP. So your boars are now minus one AP and strength four. So you're going to be wounding most things on fours, if not threes. 
Uh, and then you have Warband. I'm not going to get into Warband a whole lot. It's not super pertinent to this. Now, you can upgrade your Orc Board Chariot. You can add a third Orc Crew. I don't know where you're going to put them in the Orc Warrior set. They give you legs. I would almost say have them riding the board with the Chariot attached to it. I think it would be pretty freaking funny. Just clip the harness and put them on it. Maybe put a little chain to his hip or something. Like a little bit of uh, jewelry chain. And glue it to the other side so it's like pulling it. I don't know. That's what I would do. But you make, it, make it fun. Have fun with it. They're Orcs. Um, you can take that extra crew member for five points. Again, that would give you three attacks on the crew. Now, one thing that's really interesting is you can upgrade this to take Frenzy. Now, Frenzy is going to give you an extra attack on the charge. You're going to be forced to charge if they're within charge range. You must charge. So six plus seven, that's going to be your charge range. So that's coming up to a 13. So that's not, not too bad. Again, that's going to be only on the Orc Warrior though, not the Boar Boys. So keep that in mind when, when looking at that upgrade. And then if you took Frenzy, you can take War Paint for 10 points. Now this is a really interesting thing. You're not allowed to take any armor of any type, but guess what? They don't have an armor value. They have a four up save from the Chariot itself. So I would almost say take the Frenzy and take the War Paint and then take the third Orc Crew. And then just get yourself two attacks a piece on that on that freaking combat, man. You'll be pumping out six attacks with the orcs, getting their D6 plus one impact hits. You'll have the Tusker charge, so they'll be getting all their buffs. And then you'll have a six up ward save in case something hits you that you don't want to hit you. Uh, I think it's pretty decent. It's going to jump that chariot up quite a bit, though, if you do that. So you'll be looking at 111 points. Up to you if you want to take it. I think if you're going to make it stretch out of that battalion box that you get, do it uh and again you can only take that frenzy uh on zero to one per 1000 points now the savage orc range unfortunately is discontinued at this moment i don't know if they're going to bring it back anytime soon so getting the models on those savage orcs are going to be kind of a pain in the butt because they're kind of being resold for an obnoxious amount of money um but if that is something that you want to look at, eBay, I guess, would be the go-to if you want to buy some Savage Orcs. Or you could just disclose it to your opponent. I would be cool if you're like, hey, these are Savage Orcs. Cool. Maybe do some war paint on the side of the chariot to indicate that. Uh, and then, like I said, I think a big thing that you can do is show no tell. You know, you, you freaking show through painting and art on, on your artistic detail that this is a Savage Orc chariot. Or, sorry, a frenzied war painted chariot. Um, so yeah, just a really quick video. I kind of just wanted to kind of tap on this for a bit. Um, let me know your thoughts down below. Do you run the Orc Board Chariot, uh, outside of the Nomadic Board? Um, but anyways, do you run the Orc Board Chariot? What are your opinions of them? Those that have a lot of games that stuck through this video, what do you think of the Orc Board Chariot? And then I want to leave a last side note today. Um, I'll be covering a legendary lord, if you will, total war got me using the term, uh, this weekend. Guess down below what it is. I'll give you a blurry picture. Boom. Uh, if you guess it right, I, I don't know. I, I'll pin your comment. Uh, anyways, everybody, have a wonderful freaking time. I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. And uh, take care. Peace.